If the King of the Jurassic it comes to mind, you're likely picturing the Allosaurus, and that makes sense, as it's a true terror among theropods. However, there was a rival that roamed around with it, that not only made the Allosaurus look less intimidating, but also outdid the ferocity of all other predators of that period. Before we dive in, please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, without further ado, let's get to the video. It is now well known that the ecosystems of the Jurassic period faced some of the harshest conditions of the Mesozoic era. Despite this, those times housed an incredible array of fearsome predators. Among the largest stood the Allosaurus, the often underrated Ceratosaurus, and the deadly Torvosaurus. This trio dominated the late Jurassic lands of North America and often appears in documentaries and depictions about that era. Yet, there was another giant theropod in this scene, a much rarer and even more frightening creature, the Sorophaganax. This gigantic animal was possibly the largest theropod of its time. Although only recently starting to gain popularity in the paleontological community, scientists have known about Sorophaganax for quite some time. It was first discovered in Oklahoma in 1931. Immediately, paleontologists recognized that they were dealing with a creature of epic proportions, a presence that must have instilled terror in both its prey and other predators. With this in mind, they bestowed upon it a name that reflects its imposing nature and the terror it inspired, Eater. Unfortunately, that name had already been claimed. This setback was only resolved more than half a century later, when paleontologists christened the creature Sorophaganax Maximus, a grandiose name meaning the greatest lord of lizard eaters. The mention of Maximus in its nomenclature is an ode to its colossal size. Nonetheless, a challenge persists to this day. The scarcity of known specimens leaves numerous mysteries surrounding this prehistoric titan. This obstacle, however, did not discourage scientists who continued their research in an attempt to unravel mysteries, including the principal enigma regarding its exact size. It is currently a consensus that Sorophaganax was a giant, with careful estimates suggesting that an average adult could be around 10.5 meters, or 34 feet in length, and weigh up to 3.8 metric tons. This already positions it above the largest known Allosaurus. Nevertheless, there are accounts of an exceptionally large Sorophaganax that could reach 12 to 13 meters, or 40 to 43 feet in length and weigh up to 5 to 6 tons. Such sizes suggest that it could compete in size with some of the giant theropods of the Cretaceous that appeared later. Despite its impressive length, it was still not as massive or as tall as some of the more robust giants, like the T-Rex. Should Sorophaganax have really reached the sizes considered by scholars, it not only holds the title of the largest medium-sized dinosaur of the North American Jurassic but also stands out as the most imposing theropod of that era on a global scale. Today, its position is mainly contested by Edmarca rex and Epinterias, both currently referenced as larger variants of Torvosaurus and Allosaurus, respectively. Despite their fame, Edmarca's size has been revised to approximately 11.8 meters or 39 feet, while Epinterias it could reach close to 12 meters or 40 feet, dimensions nearly comparable to those of Sorophaganax. However, Given the scarcity of Sorophaganax fossils and the even rarer Depenterias, the view prevails that Sorophaganax could be the giant among them, the true sovereign of its time. Its majestic presence would likely overshadow the well-known King Allosaurus. However, it is probable that it had an appearance quite similar to Allosaurus, due to its classification in the same family, the Allosauridae, sharing traits like the long and agile tail, diminutive forelimbs, and voluminous heads on short necks. This strong resemblance raises controversial hypotheses. While some dispute whether Sorophaganax should be considered a separate dinosaur genus due to there being few differentiating aspects compared to Allosaurus, other paleontologists argue that discrepancies in the size and structure of the vertebrae support that it is indeed a distinct species. More recent research has supported this latter view, presenting indications that Sorophaganax probably belongs to its own genus. Additionally, among the characteristics shared with Allosaurus is the exceptionally powerful bite. Allosaurus is recognized for using its serrated teeth to tear its victims apart, leading to death by blood loss. Considering the formidable size of Sorophaganax and the robustness of its skull, it is possible that it possessed an even more formidable biting capability than its relative, with an estimated force similar to that of a great white shark at 10,000 newtons. 
Sorophaganax also displayed strong arms with extensive and sharp claws, significantly contributing to its predatory potential. It is plausible that it used such tools not only to strike fatal blows, but also to grab and mutilate its prey. However, some theories propose that due to its giganism, Sorophaganax might have been less agile than other animals in its habitat, which would favor opportunistic behavior such as scavenging, waiting for other predators to hunt, and then taking over the carcass with its intimidating size. Despite this, other hypotheses suggest a combination of strategies wherein Sorophaganax could hunt slower-moving prey, such as juvenile sauropods and more vulnerable stegosaurs, adding even more complexity to the understanding of its behavior in the Jurassic period's food chain. To the relief of other smaller animals of the Jurassic period, Sorophaganax was not a frequent predator in their ecosystems. On the contrary, fossil records suggest that it was a rather rare species, which has led to debates in the scientific community. Two main theories seek to explain this rarity. One argues that its large size and consequent ecological demands limited the number of individuals the environment could support, making it a less common theropod. This challenge could be even more intense due to the adverse conditions of the Morrison Formation, which might offer scarce resources. The other hypothesis to explain the small number of fossils found is based on its evolutionary timeline since Sorophaganax appeared relatively late in the Jurassic period. This notion is reinforced by the fact that Sorophaganax fossils have been found in only one of the 11 strata of the Morrison Formation, specifically in the brushy basin member, indicative of the end of this geological era. Highlighting its limited range, it is worth contrasting with theropods like Allosaurus, which was found in nine of the eleven strata of the Morrison Formation. However, even present only in the brushy basin, Sorophaganax shared its habitat with a variety of dinosaurs, including notable sauropods such as Haplocanthosaurus, Maripunosaurus, Soasea, Smitanosaurus, Amphicoelias, Apatosaurus, Atlantosaurus, Brontosaurus, Diplodocus, Galeomopus, Supersaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Camerosaurus. Numerous other herbivores, such as Camptosaurus, Dryosaurus, Nanosaurus, Eudiodon, Alcobosaurus, Mimoropelta, Stegosaurus, and Fritatans, as well as carnivores like Torvosaurus, Palaeopteryx, Coalurus, Allosaurus, and Ceratosaurus, also cohabited these landscapes. Non-dinosaurian life was equally diverse, including insects, fish, amphibians, sphenodonts, snakes, lizards, turtles, crocodilomorphs, pterosaurs, and even mammals, all living amidst forests that ranged from large wooded areas along rivers to savannas, with a biodiversity of flora composed of mosses, horsetails, cycads, ginkgos, and conifers. Research indicates that the habitat where Sorophaganax lived faced extremely dry seasons. During these periods, water sources such as lakes and rivers became scarce, which inflamed the competition for resources among the dinosaurs, making the struggle for survival even more intense. This ambivalent scenario represented both a curse and a blessing for Sorophaganax, whose immense size demanded larger amounts of food and water to sustain itself. However, this same greatness could also be an advantage, allowing it to use its intimidating figure to prevail in conflicts over territory or food. This imposing theropod likely roamed its kingdom with few challengers during the zenith of its existence about 150 million years ago. But until more fossils of Sorophaganax are discovered, the extent of its dominant presence and other mysteries of its existence will remain uncertain. We continue in the search for answers. Each new find brings us a little closer to the untold stories of this prehistoric giant. We appreciate your attention and curiosity. And if you are intrigued by this dive into the prehistoric world, we invite you to leave your comment, subscribe for more content, and help share knowledge. Until our next encounter in prehistoric world Narian.